Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ya leo nataka kuwaletea ni vitu gani ambazo zinaweza fanya mwanaume akatoka kwa ndoa. Kwanza unamnyima mume wako. Kumbuka umeolewa kwa ajili ya hicho kitu. Ufai kuwa unanyimana. Haleluya. Mwanaume wako hakikuhitaji. Make sure umempatia. Asije akaanza kuangalia hinte, ukabaki ukilia. Hi, hi, Saseni, my safeguarding family around the world. Leo, nataka tu kuuliza swali moja. Kweni, what happened to Ruth? Unajua ni meenda kwa social media platform ya Ruth, ni kashanga sana. Kweni, ni kaona watu wasicheze na shetani. Don't joke with the enemy. Because, to be honest, kuna kitu Apostle John alisema pale wakati walikutana na Ruth pale kwa direkta jia ofisini. Apostle John akamuuliza Ruth. Naomba ni kuulize Ruth. Wewe ni yule mwanamke ambaye nilikuwa ninakujua. Yule ambaye aliletwa Tanzania wakati mlifunga ndoa wewe na mdogo wangu Ayubu. Mkakaa pale Tanzania for one year. Ikawa sijawahi ona shida fujo ghasia na nini mnapendana. Ni wewe kweli ama ni mtu mwingine? Why did Apostle John ask this question? Apostle John asked this question because Ali chapu wa butoa. Ali kuwa na mshanga wa kashanga. Is this the same girl that actually tulimpokelea kule Tanzania kama bibi ya mdogo wangu? Hata ya mwenyewa li shanga. Wata hata bimbi wakati nilienda kwa social media platform ya Ruth. Niligongo wa na mshanga. Nili shanga. Because honestly, the Ruth that was a few years ago, tijui nini what happened? Guys, mnaza kuwa nini hamwelewi maybe ni nini nasema. Ebuwe ngalieni hii video about what Ruth anaongea kuhuzu ndoa. Anaongelesha watu kuhuzu ndoa. Especially, anaongelesha women kuhuzu how to take care of their own husbands. Kwa kikisha kwa mba ndoa itabaki salama. The same Ruth. Ebuwe ngalieni. Buwana Yesu wa sifiwe. Ya, leo natika kualetea ni vitu gani ambazo zo zinaweza fanya mwanaume akatoka kwa ndoa kwanza unamnyima mume wako kumbuka umeolewa kwa ajili ya hicho kitu ufai kuwa unanyimana haleluya mwanaume wako hakikuhitaji make sure umempatia asije akaanza kuangalia hinte ukabaki ukilia cha pili mwanaume anapenda respect ukimpatia mwanaume respect Apenti, yani anakuambia, unahona kuamba ni hee, ni wewe unafaa kumuambia. Just respect your husband. Namba tatu, wakati ya napo toka kazini, hamefika, hamechoka. Make sure mme wako umemkaribisha kwa nyumba vizuri. Unamuambia karibu mme wangu, pole na kazi, na juu umechoka lakini pole sana. Nisha kuandalia maji iko kwa mbafu, nenda ukaoge. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Akisha toka huko upate apate umemwandalia nguo za kuvaa. Haleluya. Umwandalia nguo na chakula kikiwa tayari. Akifika, akiona hiyo upendo, na kuambia kabisa, utasikia malalamiko yoyote. Unaona wanaume wengi wanatoka wanaenda kwa sababu wanaona wanawake wao awa wafanyi haki. Mtu ametoka kazini kuhasola amechoka, ukifika tu kidogo amechelewa. Ukifika akifika kwa nyumba, anaanza unaanza kumtetesha. Ho. Mbona umechelewa? Ulikuwa wapi? Hapana, hiyo sio nzuri kabisa. Kwa hivyo chenye kinafaa ni kwamba anapotoka kazini amechoka make sure umemkaribisha kwa nyumba mume wangu karibu sana usimpigie kelele hata wengine wanachelewa huko nje kwa sababu wanajua akifika kwa nyumba ataanza kupigiwa kelele na wao kabisa wataki kelele haleluya so make sure mume wako akiwa kwa nyumba umemfurahisha wewe mwenyewe 
mpaka akiwa kazini anaanza kusema hey nitafika kwa nyumba saa ngapi ili nikafikie kupokelewa na mke wangu haleluya anauliza nitafika kwa nyumba saa ngapi mke wangu ananiongozea nataka kwenda kuona familia yangu lakini ukimpigia makelele saa yote atasema ho mimi hata sina haraka ya kwenda kwa nyumba hata hiyo nyumba sinanga amani nayo kwa hivyo make sure kabisa mahali huko mahali huko mume wako akifika hivi umemkaribisha kwa upendo na ninakuahidi kwamba utafurahi sana so watu wangu what happened to that roof this is why i want you guys to know uh, it is very important for you to remain locked ndani ya mungu ni lazima tuhakikisha kwamba ndani ya familia there is something that we teach manake sisi pia ufanya family counseling there is something that we teach kuna triangle ambayo huwa tunatumia ambayo inakuanga imekaa hivi all equal side triangle i think it's called an equilateral triangle hiyo Tukifanya hivyo ndani ya familia wanga tunafundisha watu Mungu ako wapi Mungu ako hapa juu katika hiyo triangle hapa juu on the apex ako in the apex that is where god sits tunamweka Mungu ndani ya familia juu so ako juu ya Bwana na juu ya bibi na, na juu ya familia ako hapo juu bibi ako wapi bibi ako hapa on one of the side na Bwana ako wapi the other side watoto wanakuanga wapi watoto wanakuanga katikati ndani ya hiyo triangle kwa sababu all sides are equal if you start to draw a circle you will find that you will find a, a, a circle katikati katikati ka hiyo uh, triangle kasako watoto wako hapo ndani wanakuoga wamependwa wana na Mungu wamependwa na mama na wamependwa na dadi unaona so Mungu lazima akue hapo juu ukimtoa Mungu hapa ulete bwana wewe ukiwa mke utoe Mungu hapa juu ulete bwana yako hapo Uweke Mungu ene wa else that family will not work. Wewe ukiwa kama baba, utoe Mungu hapa juu. Uweke bibi yako hapo kwa sababu sasa bibi yako siju umeona kama nini. Umweke bibi yako ha, ha, yako hapo. Uweke Mungu pale pengine popote. Hiyo family haitafanya kazi. Wewe kama nyinyi kama baba ama mama ama husband and wife, mkimtoa Mungu hapo juu, mumweke ene wa else that family will not work. Because mwanzilishi wa familia ni Mungu. Ndio sasa umeona Ruth alikubali kufungua mlango na wakati alifungua mlango unfortunately mambo yaliharibika. Ruth mimi kama mtumishi wa Mungu na mimi kama a safeguarding officer na kuombea. Honestly Ruth I do not think people deep down hate you. I think people are just concerned and worried about what has actually gotten into you. Tumishi wa Mungu Apostle John aliuliza ni kama ni mapepo yamekuingia ama ni nini. But definitely tukiangalia hiyo video umeongea hapo na tuone what you have done over the last couple of weeks. Yes. To be honest, mtu anaweza kusema yes. Mtumishi wa Mungu aliuliza swali mzuri, kuna mapepo ama ni nini? Yesu alikuja ni kwa sababu ya kuosha watu dhambi na kuwasaidia ili wa wamrudie Mungu so that things can change my prayer is that you're going to find god and god is going to be found in you because uko na watoto ambaye ni lazima usaidie kuwa kuwalea as a mother you must be there for your children and the only way you can be there for your children is by kubadilika the individual that you've been over the last couple of weeks is not what motherhood is all about so nimeona tu niichukue hiyo video ni niweza kujulisha familia kwamba msicheze na shetani kifungua tu kama kidogo tu hivi waswahili walisema usipoziba ufa ndugu zangu ni mtajenga ukuta wengine wakasema kupanda mchongoma kushuka ndo ngoma sasa saa hizi rudha alipanda mtu wa mchongoma lakini mtu wa mchongoma unakuaga na miba imekaa hivi sasa kushuka ule mchongoma ni shida maana ukijaribu tu kuweka mguu yale miba ya kuchoma. Sasa hizi it is very difficult. It is difficult. It is not easy for Ruth. It's very difficult. Alipanda mchongoma vizuri. Fikiria raha itamsaidia lakini sasa kushuka ule mchongoma 
ni shida watu wangu tupende Mungu tukae ndani ya neema ya Mungu let us allow God to work and to help us work our marriages let us fear God usimuogope binadamu the baddest thing that they can do ni kukuondoa moyo but they cannot kill your soul lakini jihadhari naogopa Mungu because not only can God kill you but he can also take your soul and put it in eternal hell that is a concern and a worry mwanadamu akikuua uta ascend heaven that's it as long as ulikuwa unamjuana na Mungu you will ascend to heaven all you will have done utakuwa umekatishwa maisha yako hapa duniani lakini you will ascend to heaven lakini ogopa Mungu ogopa Mungu mtu wangu families tuogope Mungu tuheshimu Mungu tumpatie Mungu his place we reverence who he is because like the bible has said he can kill you and he can put your soul in eternal hell and you don't want that so watu wangu ni hayo tu tafadhali nimeleta tu hii video so that nionyeshe watu ya kwamba wewe kama mama wewe kama mke wewe kama uh, a good friend a wife please fear god do not fear your husband fear god just honor your husband eh cherish him wewe kama mwanaume fear god Love your wife. That is what the Bible commands us. Husbands, love your wives. Wives, honor your husbands. And marriages zetu, nyumba zetu zitakuwa sawa. Watu wa Mungu zitakuwa sawa. Hmm? Because ukiangalia hiyo video hata unashikwa na huzuni. Unashangaa huyu mwanamke kuna wakati alikuwa amempenda Mungu. Kuna wakati alikuwa anahubiri. Ni kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu yeye wakichukuana na Ayubu ali alikuwa ayubu ayubu ni mtumishi wa Mungu she was also a woman of god but she must have opened some doors akafungua milango kidogo tu akakubali shetani aingie na wakati shetani aliingia ndani ya ndoa yake akaanza kuivunja na wakati sasa ayubu alirudi kutoka Tanzania akakuja akajaribu kuitengeneza ile ndoa because i believe 100% ayubu did not have any plan of you know ma- mambo kuharibika alikuwa tu anataka ajue Uh, umekuwa ukicheat but sasa we can work this out and go on with our family na uombe msamaha da, 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 da. you know because any man or any woman when your partner is cheating you will know especially if you are a man of prayer if you are a woman of prayer you will know because you connect spiritually with the individual and when you are connected na mtu ameanza kufanya tabia zingine chafu kama hizo nje spiritually you disconnect ukijaribu hata kumwombea unashindwa unaanza kuona maono ambaye ni machafu ambayo huyo mtu anafanya hata ukua mbali so ayubu sio kuropokwa alikuwa na ropokwa ayubu had seen this even when he was in Tanzania na usitisahau ya kwamba whatever happens in the physical is already manifested in the spirit it has already happened ndani ya ulimwengu wa kiroho kabla mambo ya onekane ndani ya the earth where we are so ayubu had already seen this in the spirit world that kwamba my wife is actually doing wrong things she has already defiled the bed that god has said the marital bed must remain undefiled you know and uh, but i believe with all my heart his plan was to just come together and say look hii ni tabia sio chafu sio mzuri tafadhali let's be okay fanye hivi na hivi na hivi let's work this thing out but of course what transpired after that because Ruth alikuwa ameshafungulia shetani mlango. Shetani ilitaka kujionyeshana and uh, unfortunately it has come to where it is. But we believe God kwamba damu bado the blood is still faithful. So there is nothing that God cannot do. What we men cannot do God is able to do all things. So asanteni sana watu wangu we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Tafadhali I beg you list your subscription share this message let everybody know let our family know especially kama unajua uko na friend yako na anafanya tabia mbaya mtumie hii video tafadhali kama unajua uko na a man that is married or is in a relationship na anafanya tabia mbaya please whatsapp them this video download this video send it to them hata i don't mind if you download or whatever download it and send it to them so that mungu aongee na wao because hizi ni mungu ndio anaongea Send it to a family that you know. Wanajua kumweka Mungu pale juu because the moment you remove God from there, ndoa itaanguka.
Familia itanguka. It's as simple as that, guys. God has to remain on the apex. If any family or marriage is to remain successful. Maombi anatoka kwangu, yanaenda kwa mungu. Maombi anatoka kwa my wife, yanaenda kwa mungu. Maombi anatoka kwa watoto, yanapita kwa mungu. Sisi wote, tunashikana, tunaomba maombi. Maombi lazima ya hit heavens. Hayawezi kufika. Ah -ah. mm -mm. Ni hayo tu watu wangu. I look forward in seeing you very soon in another video. But until then, please keep children safe and let's work on our families so that we can, con we can continue to keep children safe as families. I'll see you soon in my next video.